the Lord spoke to me um, back in uh, the fall of last year. And I shared this with you that Jesus told me that uh, our vision for 2022, the, the word that the Lord gave to me was, let me build my church. In other words, get out of my way and, and let me do what my word says I will do. Amen. I, I don't want to build my church. I want Jesus to build his church. And so the word that he spoke to me uh, for 2022 is let me build my church. And when he said, let me build my church, what he's saying is let me build people, right? Because people are the church. The church is not an organization. The church is not a corporation. It's not a building. We are the church. You are all the church. <clears throat> Look at the person next to you and say, you're the church. And I'm the church. Amen. We're all the church. And so we, uh, we learned a song here a few weeks ago. We, we did it last Saturday. I wanted to do it again tonight because it talks about letting God build his church. And I really think that, uh, you know, we, it's the beginning of July now. The year's half over. And I've already seen God do a lot of building in, this, in the last few months. I've seen some major spiritual growth in a lot of people in this church. It's been very encouraging as a pastor to see this. We're going someplace, folks. And it's, it's, it's a great season to be a, a Christian. Amen? Christ alone, our chief cornerstone, no other foundation can we build upon, not philosophy, nor the wisdom of man, all other ground. Is sinking sand upon this rock. You build your church, and the gates of hell will not prevail. When we bind and loose, we proclaim.
the years they'll say things like you know I gotta I gotta defend myself against the devil I've got to put on the shield of faith I gotta quench those fiery darts that the enemy's sending at me but what we just sang and what just came from the Word of God is that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church the gates of hell are not an offensive weapon the gates of hell are a defensive construct. The gates of hell is what, it's, that's what the devil is using to keep us out. 
That's what he's using to defend himself. We need to stop looking at spiritual warfare from a defensive per uh, perspective all the time. God's called us to storm the gates of hell. God has called us to take territory for the kingdom of God. God has called us to go on the offense and bring the battle to the enemy. Can somebody say amen? And you need to understand your enemy, it's not people. We don't wrestle with flesh and blood, but we do wrestle against principalities and darkness and rulers of wickedness and spiritual wickedness in high places. That's who we're waging war against. And we know that when we bring the, 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 the fight to the enemy, the gates of hell ain't gonna keep us out. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church that's empowered by the Holy Spirit, against the church that's standing on the foundation of the rock of the revelation that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Do you shout amen to that?